question. Yes. Any indication at all that the warrants are okay to spend it all on the election? None. Now, that's only, and I'm only basing that on the testing that I have at hand. I am not here to say everything is completely 100 percent clean, healthy, whatever uh, terminology you like to use. But in no way will I say there's anything to indicate that there's toxicity or any health hazard. We're testing. We're going to continue to test. City of Orange Beach has hired an independent company to do our own testing. We've done multiple times more samples and tests than any other agency. We're going to try to put together a panel of independent scientists that will evaluate all of that information and make a determination one way or the other. Well, based on the data at hand, we see nothing to indicate that there's a toxicity problem anywhere in the sand or in the water. My federal government, my state government, and I hate to say it, but maybe even my local government, they are not telling the truth about the dispersant that was allowed to be put out to make the oil go away. The oil has not gone away, and we are being left with the hazards of the dispersant. And I, would I, I, I don't know how we're going to get rid of it. One sample from the water column showed over 13 parts per million of, of the marker for Corexit 2 butoxyethanol, And then another sediment sample just recently, at the, at the end of last week, the results were completed, and that sample showed 61.6 parts per million of the, the marker 2-butoxyethanol. Two, two are you concerned about the Corexit, sir, as a fisherman? As a fisherman, are you sir, concerned um, about the Corexit? I'm sorry. Oh, yes. He says a fisherman. May I read the I read The fishing rounds are open. The fish is safe. FDA has given it a clean bill of health. The water's are sound. The fish are okay. What do you I mean, is there a Well, it's a pretty simple deal. I, if I was a fish, I'd be a lot more worried about sharks and porpoises than I would be about the dispersants, personally, okay? But that's, that's what, now, that being said, I'm not a scientist. I think that we're looking at it from a standpoint, nature's pretty strong. The history of the world is man against nature. Nature usually does a pretty good job of, of kicking our butts. The beaches are safe, the water's safe, the seafood is safe. Fantastic. Thank you so You're much, Take care. Senator, appreciate it. Well, let me show you what isn't okay. BP was supposed to come out here and they were supposed to send a hazmat team out here. They never sent the team out here. And that's oil. Let's smell it. You can, it stinks. It literally stinks. Everyone around here is staying sick with this sore throat, the itchy eyes. This is what we're living with, and this is what they're saying our waters is clean. Where are we right now? We're in we are right here at Wolf Bay, and Cotton Bayou is just right around the corner. I could walk out there right now and I could pick you up some mud right now and I guarantee you that sand out there was used to be white, I All mean clear, crystal white, and now it is black and milky. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a quarter mile stretch right here. What made you want to grab a sample of it? Did it look, uh, uh, it, just know, look... it came in and like we, were like we saw something orange out in the water so it came in. Because you never see it out here. Where are the guys from? Right here. Oh, that is like oh, an yeah. oily substance, isn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Look at all over the cup. Uh, we're relying on the, the uh, Alabama Department of Public Health yes, sir. and their, their ruling that waters are safe for swimming. What we always look at or yes, listen to is yes, the official agencies. Yes, sir. Alabama Department of Public Health, yes, Alabama Department of Environmental Management, yes, sir. and we go by their rulings. I have complete faith and trust in our state and federal agencies. Uh, when National Marine Fisheries says the waters are safe for fishing, uh, they're, they're counting on those waters are safe for fishing and safe for, those fish are safe for consumption. If they determine they're not safe, they will close the water. When they close the water, we'll, we'll certainly abide by and announce that the waters are closed. When they say all oh, the oil's gone, no, it's on the ocean floor. They're testing the fish that are high up and, and migrate, migrate fast. They ain't testing anything that's on the ground, like crab, flounder, stuff like that. How do you know this? I seen someone the other day that was testing for BP, and he said the same thing. He said the oil's on the bottom of the floor, seabed floor. Yeah, that's where he said. He said they were testing the wrong fish. They were testing like tuna and stuff that stuff that moves fast and ends up high versus fish that are actually on the sea floor. This is the very day they're opening up the pass saying there's no problem. Open the pass. Nothing will contaminate it. Well, there's your proof. Here it is. It's being tested. Unless you pay for a private scientist, this, the government, BP, no one is telling us the truth.
right now, me being that doing this interview could could cause people that I'm dear to to to, to choose the the pocketbook over the health, you know, or or close their eyes and and you know, see no evil, hear no evil. But I am passionate enough about this to feel like the truth needs to be out, and and people need to start recognizing the facts and not not just passing off science as, as hearsay and believing everything that the government tells us. You know, look at, look at history and, and follow the money. And almost always when you see large scandals of this nature, the right thing wasn't done. And we look at it in the history books and go, oh, you know, we would never do that. You know, now we're so much more civilized and we know so much more, but we are doing the exact same thing. Exact same thing. It's a human science experiment. Their chemist came here, and I can show you a picture of him. He didn't have on gloves or anything. And then the next morning, unannounced, three men drove up in a white van at 9 o'clock on, on Saturday morning on August 21st. I asked them who they were working for, and they said CTEH, which is the hired gun um, for BP. I took pictures of them. In fact, I have pictures of the three gentlemen out here sampling. Their sample for the Corexit that was up here at the launch ramp, it came back as propioxaline, which is in the 9500 Corexit. They have not released that yet, but I do have a, a copy of so their report. Based on the data at hand, we see nothing to indicate that there's a toxicity problem anywhere in the sand or in the water. The beaches are safe, the water's safe, the seafood is safe. When National Marine Fisheries says the waters are safe for fishing, yes, uh, they're, they're counting on those waters are safe for fishing, they're safe for, those fish are safe for consumption.